Oh, shoot. It's... Oh! It's going oh. Back. Okay, you guys missed it. Dang it. I tried to record as quickly as possible. We came back down the road, and it just showed those guys, like, playing the music Okay, there. go back up the road, and maybe we'll come back. Does it work? I have no idea. Just try it. Let's try it. Okay, it's Give it a shot. He's gonna take a while to get there. Okay, so yeah, we came out of that house from last time, came down the road, and, like, those dudes yeah. were, like, playing that song. Okay, oh, sorry. So, so I had to... <clears throat> you know what? I was the one who set, who initiated the apology. Okay. So, anyways, I'd like to say that I'm really sorry that I gave this game crap and that I called it Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I was being overly judgmental of something that just sounded super dumb and lame, but it's not dumb and lame. It's actually super good and really creepy. And we just found out this chick is dead. And well, we don't know if she's dead. We just know she, she disappeared was there. From the now house. Now she's not there. And she said, "Yeah, me and my cousin used to be the same age, but now she's older than me." Yeah, she died. Well, that's a pretty good. And her gravestone assumption. with her last name is over there. It's true, Marquez. Oh, let's go. I guess I have to click back to try. Okay, hopefully this will play again because it was kind of cool. Nope, they're gone. Ah, okay, that's it's, even it's creepier. Cool it's a very cool moment, and you should experience it for yourself. Hold on, I wanted to talk <clears> to the <throat> dog. Okay, anyways, we went down the road, all of a sudden these hicks with, like, fiddles and... Okay, they actually, I don't think they had fiddles. Anyways, they had, like, these, like, banjos, and they start playing this, like, creepy but cool-sounding song. But they came out of nowhere, and now they're freaking gone. Conway Pat's blue on the side. There are just some horses out there behind the house, or I just met the strangest lady. That's what I want to say. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even see her. She seemed pretty nice, or she kind of creeped me oh, out. Oh, yeah, she creeped yeah, me out. Definitely. Just had a weird energy, yes. or that's not her fault, I guess. Some no, folks no, are just No, no, weird like, energy. Yes. All right, Blue, let's go back to the truck. Yeah. Okay, so we know the way to the zero, but she also said my cousin's house was somewhere. Uh, that's correct. Actually, head. before you oh, before well. you do this, I want to show you. Um, head down the 65 back towards Echo's Oils. <clears throat> and just go a little further back. If you recall, you said there was an accident. Oh, yeah. Um, there was. Further he, along the road, and you hope they don't come. Yep, the wreck. Right, there's a wreck. <gasps> Whoa, that's a cool angle. We should play this in the dark. Yeah, we'll turn the lights Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I willingly comply. There's nothing around. Right. You can't click on anything here. Oh, there's coffins! What the fetch? There's coffins. Whoa, whoa. There's can coffins? I just turn off Are the light? coffins? Oh my gosh. I guess I can only talk to Blue. Yeah, talk to the freaking dog. Conway like Shakes said, what a mess, huh? Or what a waste, right? What a mess. What a mess. I'm not a jerk. But... That gas station attendant was right, or do you think anyone was hurt? I want to see this. Uh, sure. Looks like a tough one to walk away from, or well, I'm glad we weren't caught in it at least. I like the first one. First yeah. one, yeah. It's more sympathetic. Can I walk in? Can I like look at these? Things? Those are. They can are you only sure stay in the light. Those aren't yeah, coffins. They're, maybe they're not coffins. They, they look, look like, like coffins. There's nice. something spilled from them. They look like they. Coffins. They look like coffins to me. <laughs> <clears throat> right, let's get out of here. Come on, Blue. Gosh. Oh, gosh, I thought the truck was gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Were these red lights blinking before? No. Uh, I don't know. Oh, actually. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm trying too hard to read into things now. Well, and I, tr I just turned off the lights. We're playing this in the dark. In the dark. <laughs> All right, so notes. Like Kentucky Route Zero or Shannon Marquez Workshop. Let's go to the workshop. Up north a ways by the lake, right where uh, Peonia and Wax Road meet. It's a big bait and tackle shop and she fixes TV. So it's north. North from the house. So mm -hmm. Does she mean like northwest or north? Uh, we just kind of have to do a little bit of exploring here. Which is yeah. really cool in this game. I'm going to go up to 70. Because honestly, you can just about go on any of these roads. That's not north. I thought north is up well, to 65. North. I guess you're right. That's more east. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, this is the lake. You see, it's probably over here or something. Just go up to what? That's the way to Route Zero. 
Oh. What? I'm thinking we should be able to spell. Around a rake. Round zero. Round a rake. Round a rake. No the damn room. Round zero. Round zero. Round zero. Oh, this tells you what What's the, the road in between. Oh. So she said it was like I wax and peony. Should we go back on this one? That's what I think. Guitar player? Hold on. I got it. I got it. Got it. Young man in a gray stained clothes sits by the side of the road. He's playing a worn guitar. To his left is blue mug, and to his right a weathered dog. Pet the dog. Pet the dog. dog closes its eyes and pretends to be asleep. <laughs> the young man strums absently. The guitar hums timelessly and occasionally, or tunelessly, and occasionally mumbles a word. Put a dollar in the cup. No, I would say listen. The young man stops playing. Uh, pulls the wet dollar bill out of his whiskey and has a peck. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. Wait, talk to him again. Can you? I think I don't think so. I want to listen to what he's saying. This is listening to the music. Again. No, we're just listening to him mumbling the words. What's this? It looks like What's the this? Mormon dad. Is that the choir? factory that makes like the fake arms or whatever? Yes. Okay, so it's past this. Oh. But to we get had to, to the zero, the anyways. What road is this here? Alright, I'm just gonna keep going this way. So that's like the edge to an map, map, so it's 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 more to the left. To here. Yeah. Oh, you need this time. Wait, so you Price know if she's road. dead or not. Huh. Huh. No one knows. Huh. The game's not over yet. Wax road, okay. Wax road. Between wax road and what? Wax road and Peonia. Yeah, peony, peony, peony. Bait shop. The bait shop parking lot. Vaulted above the road on a thin steel bar, a handwritten sign reads, Live bait, minnow small and also large for... <laughs> for, for strippers. strippers. For strippers. <laughs> Nightcrawlers, chips and beer. A green flyer strippers hangs loosely from a bit of masking tape at eye level. To the shop's right, a dirt parking lot sprawls unevenly into g the grass, or into grass, and then eventually trees. The bait shop is open. Uh, yeah, is that the, what we just read? I, I, I believe uh, it is, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Computer printed type in a bold font uh, surrounds a clip art illustration of a TV mm. set. The TV has eyes, arms, and legs. The shoulders are slouched, <laughs> like mine. On the screen yes. is a cartoon expression of exhausted nausea. <laughs> what? The hot water bottle resting. It? So it's sick. The TV's sick. Mm. TV repair. No model. Too old. Inquire within. We do not sell digital converter boxes. TV repair. That's creepy. At a bait shop. Narrow aisles crowded with lures, reels, rods, and snacks divide the shop lengthwise from the entrance to the cashier's counter. The left wall is lined with churning tanks of water. Look into the tanks. Oh, oh my gosh, it's getting louder. The la yeah, the noise is getting louder. Well, I guess you'll hear that when you're watching it. Conway approaches the tanks. The three metal tanks aren't labeled, <laughs> and the water is too agitated to get a clear view of what's inside each one. The contents of the first tank are vaguely gray. The second is a muddy pink. Ew. The third is clear and shiny but silver. Shiny silver. Occasionally flash along its surface. Which Ew. tank should we reach into or not do that? Uh, reach into the pink one. The pink one? <laughs> I don't it's know. A, I would probably do the last one. The, the, the first clear, tanks are really gray, clear, muddy shiny pink. shiny silver flags. Because, you know, okay, the second one's probably barfed up Pepto-Bismol, so you probably don't <laughs> want to do that. And the first, first one, one is probably. gray. It's probably just, like, mildewy water. I don't know. Do the third one. Silver flags. Water seems to tremble with life. Conway can't tell if his hand is being nibbled by fish what? or massaged by artificial current. As his eyes near the surface of the water, he can see something colorful glowing faintly at the bottom of the tank. Reach deeper. You're ballsy today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was, but... A tremor spreads from his elbow That's out of his 
fingertips, like a like shaking. shaking. Oh. And up to the base of his shoulder, his vision flickers. The water is running warm under his skin now, and he has the sensation that something's about to snap. <gasps> his eyes close. Oh my gosh, it's a clam. He lays on a rooftop. What? New shingles, rough beneath his back. Loose. What? New shingles? Swelling in the noon sun, he is exhausted. They must have started before dawn. His legs are sore from holding stable on the even on uneven the surface. His wrists from breaking old sealant. Sealant. What's th oh sealant? His fingers from carefully lif uh, lifting shingles to hammer down new ones. I'm confused. He's he's daydreaming. He's having he's a like, dream that yeah. he's lying on a roof. He just he's barely in the sun. Like, he just he uh, just got done working. Uh -huh. he, his his boss Ira. That's the name of her cousin, right? Uh -huh. Yells from the idling truck below. Oh, wait, no, that's not the name of Cousin. That's the name of his boss. Yeah, his Remember boss. Oh, his boss. original boss. Yeah. Oh. Okay, his boss ear yells from the idling truck below. He shades his eyes with his hand. A beer beer would be good. It's barely past noon, but he's worked a full day already. What could the harm be? Maybe a shot at the counter just to get his eyes open. Then a beer. He could offer to drive into town for lunch and stop at that place on Cumberland. The cashier pulls, or the cashier pushes Conway roughly on the shoulder. He's been talking, yelling maybe, but it's all an echo. What did I yell? Conway looks up, his neck stick with stiff with pain, his right palm still tingling. The cashier points to the tank, then above it to a few holes torn in the wall, nail holes from which an electric sign has oh, come dislodged and fallen into the water. He helps Conway to his feet, looks at him pitifully, and returns to the cashier. So, so he, he got, got electrocuted. electrocuted. Narrow aisles crowded with lures, reels, rods. Okay, that's what it said before. Mm. Approach the counter. Oh, look into the other tanks. You want to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all heard this. Okay, the pink one. The Pepto-Bismol. The Pepto-Bismol. Okay, look at this again. Conway's fingertips slip through something <laughs> fleshy but inert. <laughs> the sensation is nauseating. Ooh, deeper, deeper. Uh, you're, <laughs> deeper. Uh, you're, okay, you're, uh. you are. What are you doing? <laughs> you. I can't believe. I like it. Anyways, <laughs> I'll keep she this just G -rated. That. Okay. Um, as his elbow passes into the pinkest mass. He realizes he's about to be sick from the smell and pulls away. You were kind of right about Pepto Bismol. I told you. I told you it's freaking barfed no up Pepto Bismol. There's no way anyone would do that. If you're feeling nauseous, you're not going to reach further into this tank. Gotta do it. <laughs> gotta go fast. Gotta go all the way. Gotta go fast. Gotta Conway's go fast. hand brushes against something roughly the size of his palm. That's weird. Let's go deeper. Conway's hand comes into contact with a scaly, uneven surface. As he runs his fingers along the bottom, a bead of sweat bridges the inches from his temple to the water's surface. Something bites at his forearm. He recoils. Okay, okay. so after being electrocuted, this guy comes over <laughs> and helps us up off the ground. And then he goes in and reaches into the two other tanks and gets bitten by something. Yeah, because... We're obviously not thinking. Can we reach in again? They say the same thing, right? Um, uh, I believe so. Okay, let's just leave. Because they're lame like that. They want to explore. Near out, crowd the lures. The left will sign with churning tanks. Approach the camera. Oh, fine. <laughs> a wiry cashier stands behind the register, preoccupied with a yes. Sudoku puzzle. Ooh. Ask about Shannon Marquez's workshop. Oh my gosh, you want to ask about ask basketball? basketball? No. Ask about Shannon Marquez's workshop. Oh, yeah, I don't know. A handwritten sign on the door behind the counter reads, TV repairs by appointment, please consult with cashier. Cashier n uh, knocks a few times on the door and waits, occasionally glancing at his puzzle. Hmm. After a few moments with no answer, he notices a smaller note written on the sign, reads it, then points it out to Conway. Read the note. Ask about basketball. Yeah, <laughs> read the note. <laughs> Weaver, I got your message. Uh, have left for the old mine. Don't know if I will see you there or what. Ready either way, Shannon. Went to the mine. Read the note on the workshop door. Sure. Oh. That's the same thing. <laughs> okay, can we ask about basketball? Ask, ask about, about basketball. basketball. Ask about basketball. Really. Catch your switches on the radio. 
An AM Sports broadcast is playing, but Conway can't be sure if it's meant to answer or to drown out his questions. <laughs> can't right. walk away, I guess. Narrow aisles, crap, that's the same thing. Okay. So he's got to leave. Look he's into the tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're done with this place. So whoever's supposed to fix the TVs went to some cave. Mm -hmm. We don't. Do we know where that mine is? Um, have we? Has anyone told us about that yet? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, leave the shop. Vaulted above the road on Thinsley Bar. A handwritten sign. No, reads, no, we read that. Right, well, we read Strippers that, right. and beer. We got it. <laughs> okay, we already have done this. Okay, uh, drive away. Drive away. The can't. only other direction we have is is towards the zero. Towards, towards the so. zero. All right, let's go back. Let's, this yeah. Find the artificial limb factory. Oh, that was a no, factory that was back there. there right? we were, it was down there. Okay, gotta go fast. Wait, so what did she say again? She uh, said she went to the mine. Head to, uh, let's go to the notes. Oh. Um, Workshop. A zero on ramp. Yeah. Get on a 65 heading north, then take the first right after the artificial. Okay. Oh. You gotta go on the first right so after where was the, the artificial farm factory. Uh, right there. Okay, we gotta go. right here. But wait. Take yeah. first right and then what? Well, and she so said you're, you're, it's oh, inevitable. Oh, then it's, yeah, it's inevitable. Just go to the very end. On oh, ramp. Okay. That's gotta be it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! We're at scene three. Scene three. Elkhorn Valley. How much time has this been going for? I don't check. know. I don't want to have you guys for like <laughs> an hour watching this. Oh, I can't see how much time is on it. Okay, 17 minutes. Okay, we can we'll go. We'll go for a little while on it. Gotta go fast. Okay, viewers, I'm going to talk to my dog. It's interesting that you talk to the dog at the beginning of mm -hmm. these things. Of almost everything that happens, the dog. Brush you like, some dirt like off Blue's hat. How's, how's it going, Blue, or take it easy, Blue? I like how's it going. Yeah, me too. Huh, not sure. Not sure if that lady was right about the on-rep to the zero being here, or hey, you got something on your hat. I like the hat. You like this? I like this. <laughs> what do you think, Park? Uh, I'm, I don't know. Your tiebreaker. Either one. I'm the tiebreaker. Let's do the first one. You're the tiebreaker first one. Okay. I guess you just can't tell with some folks. They're liable to run or run you around just for kicks or better look around, though. It must be down here somewhere. That, guess I that guess one. I guess you just can't tell with some you're liable to run you around. Uh, this one. Yeah. Better hurry, though. Weather's about to turn, or let's take our time and check this yes, out thoroughly. Yes, of course. That is the classic Christine <laughs> answer. Okay. Let's look around, find those pots, find the <laughs> rubies, find the gold. We gotta steal everything up in this place. Steal right it. Right here. Okay, here's the entrance. <laughs> oh, bless you. Gross. Um, can we go up here? <laughs> that was the uh, I don't think you can, though. Entrance. Oh, you gotta go. The dog okay. looked very slowly follows me. Whoa, where am I? Doug, I are you? Shannon. Shannon speaks into the large brick cell phone held her ear. It's, it's $200 for two weeks. Yeah, it's kind of an emergency. Kind what of she, we choose emergency. what she says. Yeah. Is she a playable character? Oh, uh, she is. Okay, you get to be Shannon and I get to Conway. You make her decisions, I make my decisions. What? No. Oh. All right, so she's speaking. It's $200 for two Man, she's a whore. Okay, yeah, it's kind of is an emergency. No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I like the second one. Okay. Okay, yeah, it kind of is an emergency. So you're like, blah, 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 on the phone. That's true. I guess he can't kick me out for another week or two, but can I trust him not to just change the locks? So from this, you can kind of uh, think for what's I, going on. like. But can I trust him not to just change the locks? I guess he can't kick me out for another week or two. I like the last one. Yes, and I appreciate that, but okay, you're right. Just never mind. I have to go. Sorry. I like uh, the first one. Okay, I'll talk to you. I love you. Ooh, love you. Forget it. Bye. Uh, first one's more interesting. All right. There's some sort of love affair. She doesn't know who to trust. And now some swanky guy just came into her presence. Oh, Ooh. you can you can play because now we're what? from her perspective. Yeah, you're coming. Okay, excuse me, ma'am. I saw the light was on, and I'm looking for the on ramp to. Are you here to kick me off the property? Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, do you believe in ghosts? So. That's the first thing you'd say to somebody you meet. 
Because she's freaking weird. Okay. All right. She's weird. Are we making her weird? Well, it's just it continuity with the things you said earlier. But it, you can choose what you want. So it's up to you? Oh. Up to you. It's honestly like up there's you. no continuity? No. It's just like, remember the choices you're making. Oh, I have no idea. Way. I'm picking from from whatever sounds coolest. <laughs> do you believe in gas? Well, let's see. I do believe a place can be haunted, if that's what you mean. What about a person? Can a person be haunted? Oh my gosh. Sure, I guess a person could. Sometimes I feel haunted myself. What haunts you? Uh, bad decisions, I guess. Wasted youth. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. Here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lysets or Lysets what? Antiques. Lysets Antiques. And I'm out trying to finish this job. You're making a delivery to my... What kind of stuff are you hauling? Um, ooh, I don't know. Guys, what do you think? Do you... What? It's all on you. you. Uh, I'm the most indecisive person. So much person. pressure. Gosh, I drive to deliver to you. What kind of stuff? I don't know. If I was Shannon, I'd be like, this guy delivers stuff and he's at this mine? Like, Why is he You're making a delivery to the Yeah, mine? that's why. I... Oh, uh, No. I have a delivery for Five Dogwood Drive. I can't remember ever seeing the address before. Now, I heard I need to take a highway called Zero. So I met this young lady named Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way, so here I am. An uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway. With What? My turn. Boom. Okay, so, Weaver Marquez, do you know her? Or the Zero? Is it around here? Uh, so you saw her... Tonight, I know Weaver. She was, she's, she is my cousin. I'm Shannon Marquez. Oh, you're the one who fixes televisions. That's right. Did she tell you that too? Of course she did. Weaver doesn't lie. One time when we were younger, she told me my dad had been in a terrible car wreck. There was crushed metal everywhere and we'd been hearing it echo through the house for years, she said. I was very upset, crying. And then my dad walked in the door. Just come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke and it wasn't a lie. And the time I thought she meant it as a riddle and, oh, sorry. At the time I thought she meant it as a riddle or a puzzle. Uh, but Weaver's not a puzzle. She's a mystery. So maybe the zero's down here somewhere or, so what are you doing down here, Shannon? I talked to Weaver earlier this evening, too. Or, anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. Weaver told me I had to come down here to the old Elkhorn mine. She said I'd find something I've been looking for. Where did you see Weaver, or what are you looking for? I love that question. Like, you're Conway. Where did you see Weaver, or what were you looking for? It's just totally two different paths of, of thinking. Yeah. I kind of want to say this. Yeah, I like that one too. I'm not exactly sure. I have a few ideas. I'll know it when I see it. It's not such a bad thing, you showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. If we're going to go down into it, find your unwrap and whatever else, we've got to keep our bearings. I don't want to get turned around. I've got some gear here to measure con conductivity, frequency response, stuff like that. Maybe we can find a way to put a signal out ahead, do some analysis, and figure out what kind of topology we're up against. Topology? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Or sure, let's look around. Let's do it. Well, now we're at the mine. Ooh, she and, slinks uh, over. I think that's where we're going to stop the video. Come here, right? I think we're going to stop the video right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Game pretty awesome. Uh, so. Yeah, this has a lot of... Mis I like that... It's very you, mysterious. Well, and I like that it gives you so many different choices, because yeah. you're right, like, depending on what you pick, this could go any sort it's of It's really way. cool. Yeah. Um, and it's super creepy. And it's not like... Conway's the character and he's yeah, okay, that what was you're saying. that was totally crazy. That now you can be the girl, you can be him. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Sick game. You guys should buy it on Steam. Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye.